What's up guys, we're right here in the gym in Estoril. It has been raining almost every day, so it's more of a training week so far. Um, so we're gonna go talking about how to set up a whole training week as a tennis player. There's multiple things you have to keep in mind. One, the tennis training, the fitness training, and your recovery. Those are the three essential parts. So a training week is the same thing as a typical week. It goes from Monday until Sunday. And here's how I'm splitting it up. So one mentality you have to have when you go into a training week is the mentality of you have training money. So you start with $100 or 100% at the beginning of the week. And every day you spend some of that money, which means if you go full one day, you can maybe go full another day, but you will need some rest. You need good nutrition, good sleep. You cannot go 100% every day all the time. So that also implies that you have to make certain focuses on your training. You cannot improve all aspects uh, of your tennis, all aspects of your fitness in one week. Because if you would do that, you would have to train at full intensity in all of the areas and also volume. So that's one important concept to keep in mind before going into a training week. So let's go a bit into detail about the topic of volume and intensity. Those are two terms very often used in the world of bodybuilding where volume means the amount of sets, repetitions and exercises you do for any given muscle group. And intensity is uh, best explained by your effort that you exert during those sets like how close are you going to failure or maybe you go even beyond your personal failure by adding intensifying techniques like a drop set or a partner which helps you to lift the positive part of the rep and you add more negative parts of the rep. So in tennis it's the same like you can train for many hours with a low intensity or you can train very intense with a short intensity. It's obviously much tougher to measure that compared to the gym but your body will tell you how you feel. So listen to your body. This is the third concept I want you guys to think about is listen to your body. Like your body has its own language and it's not English, German, French or Spanish. It's the language of uh, feelings, yeah? Like how do you feel in the morning when you wake up? Are you a bit sore in certain areas of your body? Or do you feel dehydrated? Of course, it's important to not give away um, too much into some of those feelings. Sometimes you get tired when you wake up, you have to get going, uh, going have to get the circulation going. But typically you will feel like, how fatigued am I? Do I need maybe more food? Do I have to sleep more? Should I take a nap in the afternoon? So listen to your body and learn to listen to your body. And that's the third concept you should uh, know to go into a very good training week. To start a training week, we're gonna set two objectives, aka two goals. So one goal is to get stronger strength-wise. Another goal is to improve your forehand during that week. So. We have to set up a schedule from Monday to Sunday in order to achieve these goals. The thing in tennis is it's great to improve your forehand, but obviously we still have to hit and work on the other shots. So this is how a week could look like. If you're a professional player, all right. So first for the fitness goal of getting stronger, I recommend uh, personally the following template. So you will have three strength sessions. Monday, Wednesday and Friday. This will give you a lot of time to recover and it's not too many days in the week that it interferes with your tennis training. On Monday, you will have two tennis sessions. You recovered hopefully from the weekend so you're very fresh, so you can go very intense on Monday. So, of course you have to get the body going. So in the first tennis session, you make a long and good warm up. Before that, uh, after that, you add some sprints, some jumps to fire up the nervous system. And then you go through your tennis training with an emphasis on the forehand. So if you're working with a coach, maybe warm up normally and then everything in that first session is about the forehand. Different placements, different drills. This is a very specific topic we can go into another time. And it's also a very complicated topic because every player is different. And if you're working with a coach, it's best to communicate, communicate that with a coach and then you guys do your thing. So. You go into this first session, focusing on the forehand, and then you take a break, lunch break, and then you come back for the second tennis session. 
And I recommend before the second tennis session, you do some heavy lifting for your legs. So for example, the squat, long warm up, then two, three heavy sets of five to eight uh, reps. And then you go into some accessory movements. Again, I will go more into detail on this channel about leg training for tennis. And then after that, for your second tennis session, you go directly on the court and you're only training your forehand that day. So again, focusing on certain technique aspects, placement uh, and some drills. You will be a bit fatigued from the leg training, but that's actually very good because now you can train your forehand again in a fatigued state, which will further help develop it later down the road. So on Tuesday, it's another day where you will really push yourself. So yesterday you trained your legs very heavy, so normally they will be a bit sore. So I recommend when you wake up in the morning, first thing you do is you go on a longer bike or jog ride, like 30 minutes. <clears throat> and after that you have your breakfast and uh, then you go into your first tennis session. Again, you will work a bit more on your forehand, but you also have to focus on other things. Like I recommend definitely working on Surf plus one, where you look a lot for the forehand. This will also <clears throat> help you to work on your surf and how to use it in a match. And then you will work on other aspects of your game with a normal volume. <clears throat> then you take a break, lunch, you come back in the afternoon and I would recommend you play a match with another player, with your coach watching or someone that's helping you. And you really focus on playing certain patterns and using your forehand uh, during that match. And this will be quite intense because you play points and playing points in singles is a very intense exercise. And uh, that's it for the Tuesday session. So it's Wednesday. You have two good days and intense days of training behind you. For sure you will feel a little bit tired today. So today is a lighter day. You have one gym session and one tennis session. So in the gym session you will focus on your upper body Heavy weights, heavy is relative, but heavy, whatever is heavy for you. Like a bench press, a pushing movement, where you go to five to eight reps, two to three sets, pull-ups, and also some core work. And you take a break, and then for your second session, you play tennis, and it will just be a light session. It's like a, basically like a longer warm-up, and then you can play some points, nothing more than maybe 70 to 90 minutes. And that's the Wednesday rest of the day. Focus on recovery, maybe take a nap, go for a walk, meet friends, whatever works for you in terms of recovery. And also we will have another long video about certain recovery topics, but for now I'll leave it at that. If you like this type of content, make sure you subscribe and leave me a comment with what type of training you want to learn more about. And for the fitness freaks, go to my website handicgames.com where I have a free seven day fitness plan for you. You can download for free. And now we're going back to the Thursday section of the training plan. So it's Thursday. You recovered a bit yesterday, but still trained. You will feel a bit fatigued, but definitely fresher than what you woke up yesterday. So today you have no gym. You will just play tennis two times and you will focus again a lot on your forehand because that's the objective for the week. So you, you will do actually the same thing that you did on Monday in the morning and on Monday in the afternoon. And that's it for your Thursday training. So it's Friday, it's the weekend. You had a good week. You've improved your forehand. You've gotten fitter. Now it's time to finish strong. So today I want you to start with your fitness training. It will be a full body workout and you will do a circuit training. So you will choose four exercises for your lower body, for your legs, and four exercises for your upper body. And you will do them in a circuit fashion. This will be quite intense. I want you to do anywhere between three to five rounds. Obviously take a rest after one full round, but don't rest in between the exercises. This will be very tough, very fatiguing. I want you to do this first, then take a break, eat something, and then come back for your final session of the week, focusing on point play. And again, using your forehand, if possible, if you have a coach after the session to go again into some of the technique cues that you worked on all week. And that's it for the week. Why I want you to do this last session a bit fatigued is because you will see how your forehand that you've worked on all week will work under pressure, under fatigue. And then for the weekend, I recommend definitely take Sunday off, 
and rest and use some recovery techniques Saturday. You can also rest. It's really not bad to take two days off after a long week because your body needs time to adapt to grow. But if you feel good, if you really want to push it, play a match and focus on using your forehand and the things you've worked on all week. Just a simple match, two sets, maybe three, and uh, that's it for your Saturday. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I hope you're ready for your next training week and that you improve. Um, subscribe to the channel. We will have a lot more coming your way. Fitness videos, tennis videos and uh, vlogs from the tour. Comment down below what you would like to see and uh, stay tuned in and I see you in the next video. All the best.